Boise prides itself on our incredible parks, and it seems like everyone has their favorite go-to spots. Today on CityCast Boise, we're going to rank the top five parks in our city. Whether it's great for a barbecue and an adult hangout or designed to entertain the city's youngest generation, we're going to have the lowdown on where you should be hanging out this spring. Will your favorite park make the cut? It's Tuesday, April 23rd. I'm Lindsay Van Allen, and this is what Boise's talking about. Well, today we have a really fun episode. We don't just have one guest on CityCast Boise. We have two. We have Becca Bailey from Boise with Kids, and we have Marissa Lovell, the From Boise newsletter editor and writer. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, this is so fun. I'm really excited because today we are going to be ranking the parks in Boise. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) I know, no, it's high stakes, high tension. It is so nerve wracking. (laughs) This is a serious topic in Boise. This isn't a joke. People take their parks really seriously. So before we get to both of your top five picks for local parks, um, I wanted to get into the criteria you used to pick your parks because you both are Boise experts in different ways, bringing different ideas to this conversation. Um, So Becca, you're going to be ranking the best parks for kids and families. And what are the most important factors you considered when deciding what parks make your top five list? Yeah, this was so tricky, but I tried to focus on the playground structure because um, unsurprisingly, all of the all of the parks that I picked have a play structure for kids. So thinking about the play structure and the size, the options for it, um, the quality of it, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I also wanted to think about the extra features that the park has. So other areas like a basketball court, or is there a lot of green space for kicking around a soccer ball? Are there hiking trails? Are there bathrooms? Um, Mm -hmm. Is there a pond or a water feature? Things like that. Um, And then I also wanted to uh, focus in a little bit on accessibility. So can you like, is it easy to find and easy to navigate to parking? Is it walkable, bikeable? And then also very important, is it like handicap and stroller accessible? Because those are things that um, definitely affect families. Yes, huge factors for families. And Marissa, you're here with your list with the best parks for adults. What do you think are the most important factors or categories when ranking the best parks for the 18 plus crowd? Okay, so I went with parks that had like barbecue setups or places where you like could, you know, set up a like portable grill or picnic area. Also, I looked for or I thought about the best parks that had, you know, like open spaces to like bring spike ball or lay out a blanket and read. And so kind of like some open spaces. And then lastly, I looked for parks that allowed alcohol and dogs. <laughs> those, those are important factors for the 18 plus crowd. Well, 21 plus crowd for some of that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Let's, let's get right into it. No more, no more waiting, no more beating around the bush. Um, Marissa, what is your number five park in Boise? Okay. My number five park is Willow Lane. A lot of people might know Willow Lane Athletic Complex where all the softball and baseball fields are, but there's like a lot more than that. So it's over in the Veterans Park neighborhood off of State Street. Um, It's a really huge park, especially when you consider, you know, the athletic complex around it. Um, But it has more than just the softball fields. It has pickleball courts, basketball court. There's this like cool like BMX track Every time my husband and I ride our bikes down there, he like veers off and goes through the BMX track really quick. (laughs) So um, if you like to, you know, get some energy out, you can do that. Um, But there's like a ton of trees. There's lots of open space um, and alcohol is permitted there. You just can't be within 250 feet of the green belt or river. So you have to like make sure you're in the park. But yeah, it's a great park. Such a great multi-use space. And yeah, just bring your tape measure to make sure you're, (laughs) if if you got a drink, you're in the right area. All right, Becca, what about you? What is your fifth best park in Boise for families and kids? Okay, this is seriously so stressful, so tricky, but um, this is definitely one of our top five. Uh, Number five is Molinar Park. It's a pretty new place. Um, It's a a newer uh, playground area, and they kind of have added to it over the past year or so as well. But my kids really enjoy the play structure. They have stuff for all ages. So there's stuff for kind of the toddler age all the way up to big kids. Um, One of our favorites is they have like a cool little zip line, which is unique to parks. There's not very many with those. So we 
love that. They also have a lot of extra features. So they have a pretty cool splash pad. I really like that splash pad. They have a skate park that I know Marissa and her husband go to. The skate park there is so awesome. Yeah, it's off of Maple Grove and Victory, but I it's also like a bonded rubber surfacing on the playground area. So that makes it more handicap accessible. And I think there's even a few specific uh, features to the play equipment that are meant to be for very accessible for handicap, any wheelchairs and things. So yeah, that's our number five. It's a really good one. Oh, I've never been there, but you've sold me. So yeah, I, that already that already sounds like a really great one. If that's number five, I cannot wait to hear where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's jump into Becca. What are your number four and number three? We'll kind of combine those. Okay, perfect. So um, I actually asked my own kids. I was like, okay, guys, I have my ideas, but what are yours? And these were the two that I think are actually like the ones that we frequent the most, the ones that we love the most. So at number four, I have Demeyer Park. It is in a neighborhood. So you kind of have to go into a neighborhood around the block a little bit to find it, Mm -hmm. which I really appreciate. It's not off of a busy road. It's not super, you know, busy and whatnot. Um, It's off of McMillan in between Five Mile and Cloverdale. And one of the things that I love about this park so much is that it has a lot of really cool, big, mature, like shade trees. So it's great for those warmer days, but it's also a really fun one for kids to climb in. Just kind of that quintessential, like go play at the park and like dig in the dirt and play in the trees. There's a pond there with tons of ducks and things, which is you know, sometimes fun, sometimes not. Um, But they also have a great playground. um, And then um, a couple different like basketball court, volleyball court, things like that. So um, Demeyer Park is my number four. Oh, perfect. Your kids have great taste. What what was what was their number three pick? So Camel's Back is actually my number three, but um, it's obviously a very popular park in Boise. Yes. I love uh, the whole neighborhood of Hyde Park. I feel like we we are able to bike there from where we live. Obviously, there's lots of walkers. And then hiking up top to the top of Camel's Back is great and all the trails behind it. Like you just can't beat that. But I just feel like it's um it's a very family friendly one because there's lots of picnic tables and benches. There's tons of green space for all of those fun games. Um my son actually plays soccer there every Saturday. Like, so on Saturdays, it's overrun with little soccer players. Uh, but it's the the playground itself is also really fun for all ages. And they have swings, which is great. I feel like a lot of parks sometimes have like one swing, but they have a couple, mm-hmm. which people are looking for, including baby swings. So um, I really like Camel's Back Park. That is such a great park. That really is kind of the classic quintessential Boise Park. So it is so good. It might be a little controversial that that was number three, but I know, it is I know. such a good, no, such a good park though. Such a good park. Okay, Marissa, what are your number four and number three picks? Okay. My, I don't know if this is going to be a debated topic either, but okay. My number four is Catalpa, which is over in like the Collister neighborhood. Um, another one that has like tons of trees. There's a lot of open space. There is a playground, but like it's kind of like in the corner right by the parking lot. And then it's just like a field. Um, also there's this canal that runs through the back. That's just like really nice. In the summer, you can go like dip your feet in it and then just have like a picnic. Um, they also have a sand volleyball court here. So like, it, you know, the Ann Morrison sand volleyball court can get like really busy. So if you want to go play mm-hmm. volleyball somewhere else, um, that's a really good one. They also have, um, tennis and pickleball courts, basketball court. And I think they have horseshoes there too. Um, also like dogs and alcohol allowed there, easy parking. That's a good one. And then my number three is Ann Morrison, Ooh. which like, obviously everyone loves Ann Morrison. It's, it's really great, but like, I kind of put it at number three because everyone knows it. It's kind of funny that you put Camel's Bag in. <laughs> I know. I'm sensing a trend I here. <laughs> I mean, it's I my other two, like I chose them because I feel like they're kind of like maybe a little under the radar. But like Ann Morrison, obviously there's like you can play pretty much every sport there. Like we like to bring spike ball there because there's like so much space to go find a little nook. Um, the disc golf course there is awesome. They have like 18 holes. It's, it's hard for people like me who are bad at throwing Frisbees, but it's really fun. (laughs) And, um, they also have like an outdoor gym there. Also like obviously river and Greenbelt access, um, extremely dog friendly dog Island is there. Um, and then they have that shelter that's like right on the Greenbelt. 
I think it's called like the old timer shelter or something, which is a hilarious <laughs> name to me, but I think that's what it's called. <laughs> and um, you can rent that if you're like having an event or something. They have, it has like power and lights. Um, but then they have like different like barbecue stations through the park. You can like bring a portable barbecue there, but like it's huge. You have so much space to go there. Such a big park. Okay. I'm actually super, super excited because both of those are kind of, both of your number threes are the like classic quintessential Boise Park. So I'm really excited. It feels like kind of an upset moment in, in the best way. Like I'm excited to see maybe some new upcoming parks kind of crowned as the number one parks. I can't, I can't wait to see where this is going. Okay, we're rounding into our final two. But before we get to the runners up pick, uh, Becca, I wanted to let everybody know you have this really great printable report card for parks to help families like rank them with the things that they think are really important or, um, you know, kind of keep track of what parks are their favorite. And can you tell me a little bit like how did you come up with this idea? I think it's so fun and so different than anything I've seen before. Yeah. So I used to be a teacher. And so I feel like a lot of what I do with my own kids or how I've kind of approached Boise with kids and and providing resources for families kind of comes from that like fun educational side. Mm -hmm. Um, It's also something that my family used to do when I was a kid. My mom was also a teacher. um, And so we would always kind of give our rankings basically of visiting a new place, a new park. And like, so what do you think? Like, how do you rank it? The idea behind the report card was it's something that you could print off and make like a little booklet out of or put on like a little ring and then you could fill it out when you go visit a new park and then you can be like okay what was that one well let's go back to that one or yeah we didn't really like that one like let's remember to not go back there so um it's just a fun little way to kind of make it um I don't know a helpful resource for families as they explore all of the parks I love it I I think it's also a great idea instead of just like asking, you know, I'll ask my kids like, oh, did you like this park? Yeah, mom, it was fine. And it's a great way to remember the the specifics about it. Cause I feel like when kids are little, they're like, oh, that's the blue park or, oh, that's the like one with the fast slide mm-hmm. or like, you know, you're like, what, what one is that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of nice to be able to remember those specifics that they might remember, but you might not because you're, you know, not going down the fast slide or whatever. <laughs> yes. A great way to organize. So you're not playing that eternal guessing game of trying yes. to know what they're thinking. Marissa, with all of your park choices so far, you've mentioned spots that are good for like barbecues and picnics. And so how do you set up these park picnics and barbecues? What are some tips you might have for people? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Okay. Well, first of all, you need like a blanket or maybe even like a chair. Like you need something to like lay on and kind of like create a space. You know what I mean? Um, And then obviously you need food. So I would like, like, I usually either go to Trader Joe's or the co-op or get like a sandwich to go. Um, My go-to sandwich places are M&B sandwiches on the bench Mm. or Uncle Giuseppe's. Have you guys been there? No. No. Oh my God. (laughs) It's so good. Wait, where is that? It's on Glenwood and like State Street. It's this little New York deli and then you walk in and the guy's like, How's it going? Like the number 16 is the most popular. Like, you just like oh starts God. yelling at you kind of in like a, in a great way. And then just like sits there and stares at you. But it's kind of like a market and like a deli. It's so great. It's, oh, perfect. It's so great. See, they have like chips. They have these really good um, like organic Italian sodas that he like imports from Italy. It's really, it's a great spot. Oh, wow. So we either like go there and then, um, you know, get a sandwich or something or get like, I don't know, hit the like little you know, bars or something at the co-op or get little things at Trader Joe's. And then, uh, you know, some sort of like drinks, like, you know, sparkling water, like beer or wine or whatever you're drinking. Um, and then usually we also bring some sort of like game, like the chessboard or cards or spike ball or I don't know, something, a Frisbee, something. Um, and then you just, or like a book and then you just go chill and have your picnic. That's it. That's all you need. Perfect. Perfect. Marissa's tips to a perfect park picnic barbecue. (laughs) Okay. So, and I wanted to ask both of you, something that Mayor McLean has often talked about is how she wants every person in Boise to be able to safely walk to a park within 10 minutes of their home. Do you, do you both find that this goal resonates with your audiences and your readers? 
for sure. Yeah, that's a great goal. That should be, that should totally happen. I love that. I love that there's um, an emphasis in getting outside and especially like free fun. You know, I think a lot of people like families, having a family is so expensive and getting them in activities is so expensive and running around and whatever, but you know, it doesn't cost anything to go to our parks. And we have such amazing, well cared for parks that having one that is accessible, that kids can go to, that families can go to and spend time, I think is it's so crucial for building up a strong community and a real family friendly environment to raise to raise kids. So I love that goal. I think it's great. And I think we're we're doing a pretty good job of it. There are so many. Oh yeah, no, there really are. It's yeah, and having just like green spaces in your city is amazing. Like that's not every city is like that where you have these just like big open spaces. It's so like it's very special and we should make more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We, we are rounding this out. We're going to get the top picks. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to toss it to you first, Becca. What is your runner up, the number two best park in Boise for families and kids? Okay. I'm going to throw us all for a loop here. Ooh. Because it's not in Boise. <gasps> oh, spoiler. <laughs> I just feel like this park is a phenomenal park in the Treasure Valley. It is in Meridian. And I just, I felt bad saying this is the best parks without including it. So it is Discovery Park. It oh. is in Meridian off of Lake Hazel between Eagle and Locust Grove. They, one of my favorite pieces is that the playground, the play structures are Idaho themed. So I mm -hmm. love that you could get some education about Idaho things, the flowers and the plants and animals. Um, they have a really cool climbing wall that's in the shape of Idaho. So you're kind of climbing up Idaho. One part that I feel like every age really likes is they have a cool sand and water area. So you can like yes. get sand castles and have water flow through it. Like kids can sit there for hours playing there, which I love. In the summertime, they have um, a splash pad. They also have a really nice like concession station area um, with really nice bathrooms. They have uh, an off-leash dog park. They have a brand new like pump track and uh, bike area. They have like softball fields. They have an outdoor working gym. Play. I mean, there's just... There's just so much. It so it all. Just, That's amazing. It does, and I feel like every time they keep adding things to it. So the, the pump track area is new. They have like a teen area with the skate park and volleyball court and hammock poles and Wi-Fi. Like they just are like going all in on everything you could want out of a park. Kind of the old school, you know, just green space and performance area and playground, but also these new interesting things that are going to get people outside. So I just feel like it's a really phenomenal park in the Treasure Valley, and I couldn't do my top five without including it. So there it oh, is. No, as a Meridian girly, I love to hear it. We, you know, we don't make these lists very often, but we've got a lot of great stuff going on over here. And we love Discovery Park. That's the, for my family, that is a, we are going to the park for the day. We're going to set up camp. And it really is, everybody is entertained for the entire day. Yeah, for sure. I love your second pick personally. I yeah, love that's a that's a really good one. It's so good. Oh, I just wish it was in Boise, but you know. We've got to have some good things in Meridian. Yeah. Though, for the Meridian people. <laughs> we gotta to get to have some good things sometimes. Okay, Marissa, <laughs> what is your runner up number two best park for adults? Okay. My number two is Eagle Rock Park, which is over in the East End. Um, it's like by the old pen. Do you guys know this one? Yes. I do really like this park. Yeah, I love this park. So um, it's right, you know, kind of by the old pen, there's some hiking trails like that literally lead from it. So it's a really nice one to like, you know, you can go on like a quick, it's a really short hike too. You can make it a short hike. So you can like do a little hike and then end with like a picnic or something. Um, but they have a huge open field that has like super old, big, beautiful trees, tons of like shady spots to like spread out or like they have this huge open field to like play games or whatever. Um, they also have like a shelter that can be reserved, but for the most part, this is like your, 
it's usually pretty chill there and it's like your go have a picnic spot. Like it's, it's a, it's a chiller spot. I love the Rock Park. It's beautiful. No, I love, okay. I love your second choice too. I feel like that's kind of, like you said, a tucked away almost feels like a getaway spot, which is kind of nice when you just want to just, yeah, have a picnic, just hang out, not be in a busy spot. I love, okay. All right. Well, I really, if those are your number two choices, I am on edge. Okay. We need like a drum roll or something. <laughs> Maybe somebody can throw that in here. Cause I won't like bang on my desk or anything. But <laughs> okay, Marissa, we're going to start with you. Okay. What is your number one best park for adults in Boise? Okay, my number one best park for adults is Kristen Armstrong Municipal Park. This one's over, I guess, technically in the East End also. Um, but this one, I mean, I think it has it all. It's got 11 different picnic areas like designated picnic areas with like a little barbecue, a picnic table. Um, and they're all spread out from each other. So like you, you know, you're not just like right next to somebody else. Um, then there's also like tons of open space that you can, you know, set up a little like DIY picnic if that's what you're looking for. It's right on the green belt. So you can um, bike to it, but there's also a ton of parking here. That's like super shady. So you can park your car. It's not going to get super hot in the summer. Um, the, uh, they also have like bocce courts. So like bo you can play bocce ball, which is fun. Um, you know, and they also have like other spaces that you can play different games. Also like everyone knows I'm a history buff. I love history. It's a historic park. Um, they actually originally bought that land to be a baseball stadium, which is so weird really? to think about. And then it never became that. And it became Boise, um, tourist park, which was like the first campground in Boise from like 1918 to 1938. And then they said that there are too many hippies were camping there and they made it into municipal park. <laughs> so you can. Uh, well, I'm glad we all get to enjoy it now. Yeah. But seriously, like the MK Nature Center is, I don't know. I feel like sometimes people like write that off as something to do with kids. It's like so, it's such a peaceful walk. Like if you haven't been to the MK Nature Center, you need to go. It's, it's so awesome. And it's right there. But I love Kristen Armstrong Municipal Park. It's like a great place to just chill. That is such a phenomenal number one pick. I love Thank it. You. I love it. Your list is fantastic. I'm glad it lived up to the number one spot. I got nervous. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's hard. People have a lot of opinions about this. So no, it's like, it's personal. Okay, Becca, I'm going to toss it to you. What is your number one pick for Boise Parks for families and kids? Okay, so now I'm feeling like, well, it's just kind of like the obvious one, but I just, it it does check all the boxes. It's such a great park. Uh, Marissa obviously uh, mentioned it in her, I think, number three, but I have Ann Morrison Park as my number one. Oh. I love that it is like in the hub of downtown. I think that's what I love about it the most is like when you go to that park, you're going to see everyone who calls themselves like a Boise citizen, which I really love. So you get a little bit of everything. Like Marissa was saying, it's a great place for adults because there's spike ball. I see so many hammocks hung up mm -hmm. kind of, or, um, Oh, what are those, those lines called? Slack, Slack line. line. Yeah. Yes. These, um, people with their barbecues, it's obviously a great place to get out of the river when you're floating the river, um, during the summer, it's really, you know, a popular spot for that. Um, but I just, I think, again, when you go and like look up what are the features and things, the list is so long. Like you were saying, Marissa, it's just, they've got everything with the disc golf, um, the off-leash dog area, the outdoor gym, the, there's softball, there's soccer, there's volleyball. Um, they also have that new kind of water feature that's mm -hmm, there, which mm -hmm. I really appreciate as a place to kind of cool off in the summer. And it's just really pretty. Um, you know, I love that like the spirit of Boise is there. I feel like it's just like quintessential, just Boise. And when it comes to the playground itself, I think it's a great one. It is, um, handicap accessible. It's, uh, it's like kind of fenced in off of the green belt, which is nice when you've got like kids that run fast, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're like fenced off from the hustle and bustle of the green belt, but again, right off the green belt. So very accessible. Um, and then my kids just, they have a, a blast there. Um, and they have swings, which is always a plus bathrooms, all the things. So yeah, I have Ann Morrison as my number one. That's a good one. I love that. That is fantastic. It, 
it like we said before, it is such the quintessential Boise Park. It feels like Boise somehow. I, I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it does. So if we had any park that was going to be number three and number one, I think Ann Morrison is a great choice. Thank you both so much. I love these lists. I loved learning about new parks that I haven't been to that now I absolutely need to go to. And thank you for for putting these lists together for us. Thank you. It was fun. It was stressful. It was, it was stressful, <laughs> but these are great lists. I'm excited. We need to plan a picnic together. Yeah, we do. Yes. Absolutely, to celebrate all of these lists. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's all for today here on CityCast Boise. If you enjoyed the show, why not subscribe to our Hey Boise newsletter? We'll be back tomorrow morning to discuss how local police are skirting a ban and continuing to ticket homeless people. See you then. Mm